Hey everyone, today we're actually going to be doing an InDesign tutorial. So I hope this is helpful. I had a, had a few people request this. So yeah, this is for you guys, okay? So we're gonna start by creating a new document. So if we go to File, New Document, I'm just gonna talk you through the settings and show you how to get started in InDesign. Okay, so we haven't got any document presets at the moment, so let's not worry about that. The intent, so whether you're gonna use it for print or whether it's gonna be web or digital publishing, just select that and you'll get some different presets here, depending on what you select. But for today, let's go with print. The number of pages. So if you are gonna be doing a brochure or a book or something with lots of pages, you can specify that here. I usually start with one because you can add pages later on, so that's fine. Primary text frame, I'm not actually sure what that is. I think that just puts a text frame on the first page, but it's not something I've ever used. Facing pages, if I select that, uh, effectively what will happen is it will put the pages alongside each other. So at the moment with it unticked, it will just be single A4 pages. If I tick this, as I start creating more pages, it will put them next to each other as if you were viewing a magazine spread. So you'd look at the front cover and then you'd turn the page and you'd have page two and page three right next to each other. And that's what it does. You design with those pages right alongside each other. But I'm gonna to untick that for today. Starting page number, I think one's absolutely fine. The orientation, so whether it's portrait or landscape. And then you've got a load of preset page sizes here. And you can click custom enter your own and then name it and add it to that list as well. So it's got A5, 4 and 3, but you might want to add A2, A1, AO, any other kind of page sizes. So columns, you might want to split your page into several different columns and the gutter is the space in between each column. Now the margins I talked about in one of my previous videos, this is the same as in Illustrator, so the margin will be the space around the edge so if I set this to, let's say 20, I'll have 20 millimeters in from the left, top, the right, and the bottom, I will get a guide similar to what you can see in the background. Okay, so that's really important, just so you can line content up nicely, especially if you're doing like a brochure or something like a long publication, the attention to detail is even more crucial on something like that, because you don't want to go from one page to the other and for the position of certain elements to, to keep changing and be off. It just, it, it's just not good practice. The bleed. So I'm not gonna talk about what bleed is, but if you do know what bleed is, then um, you can set your bleed here. So you can set that to five millimeters. And again, you can link it or unlink it, but usually I know you'll keep the bleed the same around all sides. And the slug. So this is kind of an extra space around the outside of the bleed and typically slug is used for any kind of extra information or if you were sending it to a printer and you wanted to put, put a particular print spec specify any spot pantone colors or anything you could put that in the slug information and that would be outside of any printing areas so it wouldn't print but it would still be visible when you're viewing the document okay so let's go with these settings. I'm actually gonna tick facing pages on so I can show you what I meant before. I'm gonna click okay. Okay, so you can press W, that's the shortcut key to change between your print view and then your kind of guides and bleed and all sorts of other things view. I'm not sure what it's actually called. That's just what I call it. I think you can change that here as well. There you go, so you can switch between them but the shortcut key is W. Okay, so this black line, this is the trim line. So this is what we set our document size at, which was A4 in our settings, I believe. So if I press W, you'll see this is where it's gonna be trimmed and printed when finished. The bleed is represented by the red line and that goes around the outside and that is five millimeters all the way around. Now in here, we've got our margins which we set at 20 millimeters all the way around. And we set the page to split into three columns, like so, with a gutter in the middle of, now what was the gutter? You can go to File, Document Setup, 
and you can access some of these settings again. So we've got the, the document size and the bleed and the slug, but what about the margins and the gutters? That's located in a different place. So if you go up to layout, margins and columns, you'll find them in here. So let's change it to say four columns. We want the gutter to be 10. And as you can see behind me, the spacing is all changing. So now we've changed this to a 10 millimeter margin, four columns and a 10 millimeter gutter in between each one. So let's pretend this is our front cover. We're going to go over to the pages palette on the right and we're going to create page two and page three. So this is what that facing page is option related to. So page one is our cover. Page two and three is set out as a spread. And then the same again, page four and five, that will be a spread. Six and seven and eight, if that was our back cover, would just be a single page here. If I go to file, document setup and untick facing pages, watch what happens here on the right. They all become completely single pages. Okay, and that's how you. Uh, that's how you. Okay, and that's how you set up your document to get started in Adobe InDesign. I hope that was helpful. If it was, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Leave a like, and I'll see you in my next video.